Last week I asked you if you would like a breakdown of the arpeggios video that I made and an overwhelming majority of you said yes please, so here we are. First things first, let's take a look at the numbering system that I used in the video. Now, the basic principle is that if as long as these numbers add up to any multiple of four, we know that they're going to fit within the 4-4 groove. So that's something to keep in mind throughout this video. So for instance, in one of the first arpeggios that I play, I'm playing a 3-3-2. Three, three, that means that I'm playing a group of three strikes, another group of three strikes, and then a group of two strikes. That adds up to eight, and we know that that's going to fit within a multiple of four, right? So let me demonstrate that. So this time we're using a D curd and working at 80 beats per minute. Now don't forget that you can go into the video settings and slow the video down if it's still too fast for you and you wanna follow along. So three, three, two then. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Let me show you how that fits within the beat. One, two, three, with the phrasing one two three one two three one two one two three one two three on a different chord So can you see how the phrasing and the groove all interacts with each other? Now if we skip forward to one of the more complex grooves, the 5-5-5-1, five, 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 right? What I've done here is I've added two extra notes to my chord to make it a five note chord. I'm playing up the chord five strikes at a time and then starting back at the beginning, right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then to make it add up to 16, I'm adding one extra note, and that's how we fit it within that multiple of four. So this time I'm counting one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And again, one, two, three, four, five, one. That adds up to 16, fits within our groove. I'm actually gonna double time this as well. So again, you see how that phrasing is kind of modulating and crossing over throughout that rhythm until it finds its way back to the 16, which is a multiple of four, so it all comes around, meets together, and then resyncs, if you like, and we start again at the beginning of the phrase. And so that's how that entire video works, just using weird phrasing, but messing around with it to make sure that it still fits within the groove. So with that in mind, I invite you to follow along again. I'll play these for you slowly. 
and see if you can find your own chords, your own arpeggios with those interesting phrases. See how weird you can get and have fun with it. So this time we're working at 70 beats per minute. I'm going to go through the entire original video, but on this scale instead. And as I count the first round of each uh, phrase, I will count the phrasing. And then the second round, I will count the beat so you can hear how it all interacts. All right, see if you can follow along. Um, let's go for it. Ready? One, two, threes first. One, two. in itself <laughs> trying to count the phrase and the count switching between so again go back follow different parts of that video slow it right down see if you can work out each phrase if you haven't got an extended scale like this one see if you can be creative and work out different ways of playing for instance those sevens like you might play two different ways of doing that and um, enjoy. <laughs>